All right, I'm gonna start at the front driver's side. Got the two holes from the license plate bracket. I have the license plate bracket. Uh, it's not on the car because it looks shitty. Uh, got some scrapes on the lower underside of the front bumper. Thing there, there. Uh, coming around the driver's side. Here's the tire. Uh, date code is right here. So this is an 05 tire. It's a couple years old. Uh, got your brakes in there. Can't really see them. Uh, the fender liners, our fender yeah, liners scraped up a little bit on that. You can see that there. Uh, inspection windshield's good. There's a some kind of crap on the got there, there, and a little bit on the door. Not that bad. Looks like it's just on the top layer of clear. Paint's true, or trim's peeling a little bit through here. Everything else in the car up here is pretty good. Oh. Uh, here's the first rust spot under the uh, driver rear. That's where it is. A little bit of oxidation on the deck lid. So scrape right here. I actually side the gas doors off because we got a door handle broke. Got a new one that's being painted. Gas doors off so we can match the paint in that door handle. Uh, here's the rust on the passenger side. Same thing with the trim over here. Door ding, kind of right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, here's another one right here. Crap, I didn't see that one before. There, you can see those two right there. Fender liner on this side's good and all intact. Open it up. Little bit of tearage right here. No wear on the seat. Shift knobs worn just a little bit. Actually, it's pretty good. The headliner needs a little attention. That's probably the worst thing on the car. Sagging right there. I drove with the windows down yesterday and it dropped even more right there. Ugh. So that's that's the worst part of the car. The uh, visor has a little tear in it. Let's go under the hood. The air box is missing the lower part, apparently. Uh, it's hard to see. There's a new filter that's secured in there, so it's sealed. Uh, brand new battery that we put in a couple days ago. Uh, this hose got replaced. This is an aftermarket charge pipe that is with the turbo. Uh, we'll try to see if that's actually an OEM 
turbo or what, I'm not really sure. Uh. Oh yeah, it's got a uh, first gen blow off valve. It has been crushed a little bit. And this is the T for the wastegate actuator because there's not a fitting on the uh, on the compressor housing apparently. Um, there's the coolant, full coolant, no oil, nothing funky in there. No kind of froth or anything in the oil cap, no sludge in there, everything clean, shiny. And, you can see it's fresh oil, we just changed it yesterday actually, I guess. Oh man. 